Dorota Palicka, international nail artist and educator here. And today I'm going to show you how to apply the nail tips uh, and how to file them into an almond shape. So I will show you the quickest way. Uh, but before we start with the tip application, a bit of theory. I have painted <laughs> actually my hand in there. And um, if you know the sizes of your nails, it will be very easy to pick up the right size for your client. Just straight away from box and then glue it in. Uh, that saves you lots of time. So um, I will just excuse my client for a second. Thank you. So I've got, um, this is my hand and on the pinky I've got size 10. Then here I've got size 6, here I've got size 5, here I've got size 7 and here I've got size 3. And because I know my hands like and the size of them, um, it is very easy to judge for me the size of the client's nails. And the lady has a kind of similar uh, similar size uh, of the nails than I do so straight away I would go for a size 10 it might be a little bit too small so I might try in size 9 here is a definitely a size uh, 6 size 5 size 6 and then here will be a size uh, 2 probably as well on the thumb so uh, by judging this way it is very easy and I will show you and that's kind of an average size for most of the clients sometimes here it will be 9 then this one is always six or seven for most of the clients uh, and here this sometimes worry as well like uh, from client to client uh, so that's kind of the two combinations which are the most common one uh, in general uh, for all the clients okay and then i show you how to apply the tips obviously we have sanitized mine and client's hand and then i have just give it a couple of the scratches um sorry <laughs> i have given a couple scratches uh, to the natural nail plate for the tips, you always need to file the free edge nice and round, okay? So it has to follow the pocket of the tips. Of course, it is depending on the uh, on the tips which we are using. I I really love the Salon Perfection tips, which are perfect for most of the clients, uh, even if they bite their nails. So these tips would uh, fit in. They are the most universal tips. Uh, that's why I like them so much, especially for a shorter length. I wouldn't use them for a coffin-shaped nails or very long nails because they carve a little bit so only for the short nails and 90 percent of our clients um, i'm putting those tips in they are having a wee pocket as well and i will show you how to how to apply them okay so the the nail plate is scratch you don't want to overdo it and um, you want to only give it a gentle uh, scratch to it to remove the shiny surface and then i'm going to dehydrate it with the blue scrub just to make sure there is no oils and nothing so they stick in really well extra dehydrator Okay, give it a couple seconds so it's dry before you start applying the tips. So quite often I like to put the fan on just to speed up the drying process. And I'm going to use the brush on resin from a new perfect. Okay, so let's try the first tip. So I'm just taking it straight away from the pocket. In the school they teach us to put all the tips we choose on the side of the desk. It's such a waste of the time, guys. Uh, I never do it anymore. And yeah, I can perfectly use the size 10. The next step is to cut the pocket because you can see there's a full pocket. So you don't want too much tips. Like I usually one third is ideal. Um, and I'm just always cutting this pocket. This lady got a pretty nice nails, but like if it would be my fingers, I would need to cut on the sides here as well because otherwise it's very difficult to blend this part. So I'm just cutting the corner and I'm cutting the corner, okay? If I've got the pocket trimmed this way, it is extremely easy to, to blend it and um, there is no trouble with the lifting, okay? The glue, you can sometimes go and shake it a little bit, remove the excess of the glue. You don't want to flood the tip with the glue. Remove it there, one side, other side. So this way you've got the perfect amount of the glue. Turn it nice and straight, follow the bones, and then at the angle, you hear the clip, and then you slowly start pressing the tip down. It's better to put a little bit more glue because we can always clean it and I will show you how to do that. And then count to 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Release the tip. Don't flick your hand because this way you could uh, lift the tip. Okay, so it's a slow relation. Excuse my nails as well. We are doing redecorating obviously of the studio and I have completely no time to redo uh, my nails. Now the size 6, so it's I will show you the dry technique. So we go at the angle, click, and then you fit in. There is a pocket which makes it it's stopped. Yeah, so the salon life, I, have, I just had to pick up the phone, but let's go to the uh, next one. So we've got the size uh, six tip. 
and then I'm just going to trim it so trim it and it's kind of automatic for me now like uh, the way how I should cut it and how I should apply those tips click I will also show you because on the one I got a bit of air. I will show you how to get rid of that as well because you cannot leave it. And if it's tiny, I wouldn't uh, remove the tip. I would just file the lifting away. So yeah, it does happen to me sometimes as well, but I'm not worried. And the next one okay and then I show you also how I cut them so it's much quicker to file them into an almond shape okay the tips goes away just so you don't have a mess on your desk like it's much easier to to work in there obviously we have used the glues and i told you guys it's better to use it a little bit more than not enough because i had not enough on this side and that's what happened i have got a little bit of the air in there and then with the clean wipe so there's nothing on the wipe i'm just kind of um, wiping away the excess of the glue then we are going to cut um the tips into an almond shape okay so what you could do is you could ask the client the length they want and just cut it like this but filing it into the shape it would take you a really long time so i find it if i'm cutting it if i'm cutting it at the angle so one side like this and the other side like this it's kind of much quicker for me to file an uh, almond shape okay Sometimes I take more, sometimes I take less on the one side, but it's definitely much quicker to file it an almond chip. The thumb, sometimes you might have a difficulty to cut it this way, so you can cut it like this, and then you can cut it on the sides. Okay, let's file them. And again, there is a technique for that as well. So when I'm filing the almond shape, I would start with the sides, like you want to have all these places join in, okay, protect the client's hand, make sure the file is not rough, okay, file those sides, file the other side, and get them almost into the V-shape, I'm not touching the free edge yet, so I've got them into the V-shape and then I'm start rounding off the tip. Okay, there is always some bits and pieces of the fluff underneath and usually I do not remove them until I put the gel uh, just because the tip is kind of weaker at this stage after we have complete this step so you're shaping first then you go with the file just all over to give it a couple scratches okay after we have done that we are going to blend the difference and blending the difference we'll go maybe like this there we are you have to turn the client finger to the side and try to hit the part which is uh, one millimeter below the line, okay? Because by, by the time when you kind of move your hand, you might hit your, the natural needle as well, so you don't want to do that. That's why you try to, don't blend the line, but one millimeter below the line, okay? So here I'm going to the top, then I'm going on the tip, and then I'm going down the tip, okay? So this way we have blended the tip almost. You can do the final check of the shape and then give it a couple more scratches to the natural nail because I never do it too much uh, before the tips application. And then the next one. Oh, that's the air one. Perfect. I love when the things happen. I could just start the camera again, but I really wanted to show you guys. So I'm just filing. 
quickly all over and now I have to get rid of all all this entire pocket I have to file away so it's lasting a nice time so blend it here and then file away the lifting because the tip has the pocket it's still going to be attached in this place but we need to file away those ear okay And now I'm just going kind of normal speed. <laughs> so one side, other side, protect the client's folds. Look how I'm holding the client's hand. Like I really protecting those client's folds. <laughs> and then blend the difference. Again, I'm not extremely fussy about the shape at this stage. Uh, I feel like kind of it is a waste of the time uh, because when we apply the gel, of course it has to be kind of decent-ish, but when we apply the gel, we still have to file those nails. So uh, I'm kind of like uh, leaving the perfecting of the shape into the last stage uh, after applying the gel. Just relax it. Perfect. <laughs> and for short uh, new extensions, like those tips are just absolutely fantastic. And the thumb, so one side. And really the most problematic place, especially for a beginner, is the sides of the tips. So those places here, you really need to blend this place. Like, so there is no uh, raggy bits and pieces, or there is no um, uh, jump or loose places. Like really properly joined in with the natural nail. Okay, then the difference. And because I'm trying to hit below the, um, the line, I'm not worrying about the client's natural nail. The next step is to remove any dust, and then, I, and then that's the time when I'm doing the cuticle work. Because cuticles are so up on the top, I'm not bothered about um, filing um, or removing them before I apply the tips. And the reason for it is sometimes, this lady got an easy nails, but sometimes we've got the clients like mine with really high nail folds and you wouldn't be able to reach it with your file those places so when i'm doing the cuticles i would go and i would touch up those places as well that's another tip for you like okay so you would just file remove any cuticles and you can touch up those uh, those place where the tip is joining with the natural nail and when the tips are done this way, like uh, they easily last many, many weeks uh, before the clients comes back for a rebounds, I just put my file for a reverse. I'm also not cleaning any nail fold at this stage. I'm only removing the cuticle from the nail plate. Okay, so that's my next step. And then the final check so I'm taking the file and with the edge of the file I'm checking because when I'm doing it I'm doing it pretty fast I'm checking if there is any other shiny places okay so checking for any other shiny places doing a final check yeah and that's the nails ready for the gel application so we are going just to remove the dust and do the gel application but I'm going to do it in the next part of this uh, video uh, just so you've got a uh, separate one if you're searching only for the tip applications sending you glittery hacks bye